Hey everyone, in this video, let's talk about how you can use LTX Studio. In order to do so, here we are at LTX.studio and we're all logged in. And you can see here, I have a few projects that I've already created. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these products so you could see for yourself exactly how it is that LTX can work for you. So first off, what you're gonna find here is you're going to see that we have different scenes. Each of these section equals a different scene and you are going to have a variety of shots. Now, when you go through the process of doing this, one thing I can tell you from experience is that a lot of times the images that you get, you might need to regenerate them because they don't always look the way that you want them to. And also when you first go in, you are going to get static images that are going to need to be generated as videos as well. And what you're going to find is that many times the videos can be morphed they uh you might get extra fingers things of that sort sometimes the characters might look different from scene to scene and so from shot to shot so you have to be mindful of that and you're going to need to take the time to go through and really make sure that everything is the way that you want it to be but let's go ahead and start from scratch here so that you could see for yourself how this works so we're going to go here to new project and here we have a couple of options. We can either de develop a concept with AI or we can stick to a script. So if you have your own script already, then you can bring that in here and LTX will generate based on your script. Something that you might want to do with something like ChatGPT or any other chatbot to kind of uh, flesh out your script idea before you bring it in. But let's go ahead and develop a concept here with AI. And you can see here on the right hand side that we have a few options that we can choose from some examples here we can also click this regenerate button and we have uh we'll get some different options here that we can play around with so let's try infinite loop this one sounds kind of cool a software engineer gets trapped in a virtual reality game so let's go ahead and click on that then from there you'll see that we have a few options down here special requests we can put in any uh, additional modifications that we might want to put in there. We can change the format. We can have this as a custom. So if you want, you can put in your own details there, or you can put a short film or a commercial. If you select as a commercial, then you're going to get some additional options here. What are you advertising? Who are you advertising to? What do you want your audience to remember? What do you want your audience to do? We're gonna go ahead and select short film because that's basically what this idea is here. And we're going to select a couple things here in genre. So once we click on genre, you'll get some additional options that we can play around with. So in this case, let's go ahead and go with science fiction because that is science fiction concept and then we'll select tone and we're going to go ahead and go with suspenseful and then here we can add a voiceover if we want but we're not going to do that we'll just leave that as is then we're going to hit next here and now ltx is going to generate our storyline this might take a few moments so we'll go ahead and just let that work okay so that's all done and now we have our script we can generate more if we want but and we also have the option to choose an alternate storyline so you might want to take a closer look at the options and see which one you think looks the best but we'll go ahead and choose that one there and then we'll move on to the next stage here which is our settings and cast and we'll just let ltx finish thinking here and that didn't take too long at all. So you could see now that we have our cast, Alex and Nova, and we have our style. And uh, that looks pretty cool. Um, we have our project name. We have our aspect ratio. We can put in a style reference if we want. But this is, uh, and we can also add characters as well. But uh, we're pretty good here to start. We also have a few options here we can play around with. We can regenerate this if we want. We can download it if we want. We can do a face switch. 
But uh, this all looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and hit next. And we will let LTX think. Okay. And now that LTX is done, then we have our breakdown. We have our different scenes. And next to each scene, you're going to get some additional options. We can delete it if we want. Uh, we can edit it and we can also duplicate it. We'll go ahead and leave it as is. And then we're going to go ahead and click on start to move on to the next section. Okay, so that's all done. And now we have our scenes going all the way down. And you can see that in order for us to be able to view the images, we actually have to generate the images. We can also click here where it says generate scene to do that faster. But you can see here up at the top, we'll just focus on this for now. And um, what is important to point out is that you're going to have to click here where it says generate motion for each of the different scenes. Otherwise, you're just basically getting a static shot here. But if we scroll to the right, then you'll see that we have some more scenes here that we could take a look at. Let's go ahead and click generate scene on scene number two. You'll just see for yourself how fast this works. And there you go, it's pretty quick. We'll just move to the right. So you could see our hero is now in this virtual reality. And we have our secondary character here. We'll just go ahead and go down and generate our different scenes so that we can see the preview. Okay. And while that's working, so now our preview button is lit up over here so we can actually view this. But let's take a look at our different options here so we have our motion editor we can change the location the style the clothing we can add a voiceover we've got soundtracks and let's take a look at the motion editor so here we have specific uh tools for each individual shot we can upscale we can Let's take a look here at the tools. Nope, that's not going to open up. So we could change our shot type. So right now that's set to wide shot, but we have a few other shots that we could take a look at as well. And we'll take a closer look at that just in a moment. But we have our frame animation. And here we have that uh, VO2 is actually now part of LTX, which is pretty cool because before the results were somewhat hit and miss when it came to a lot of the stuff that you were getting with LTX. It's very cool what it's got to set up the ability to kind of like map out your, your idea. But unfortunately, some of the results were not that great, but we have our frame animation. We have camera control. We have character animation. And we also have our sound as well. Let's go ahead and do a preview of our project. So this is going to just take a moment. So we'll go ahead and let that work. Okay. And now that's all done and uh, pretty lengthy. We've got about 10, 10 minutes here of footage. So we're not going to watch all that, but I'll go ahead and hit play so you could see a few seconds of it. And also, we don't have any audio because otherwise we might get a copyright uh, strike. But um, you can get an idea here for what the results are. And we would need to animate this in order to uh, really be able to see what each shot would look like. But this is just to kind of give you an idea of what the end result might be like. Let's go ahead and close out of that for now. And we're going to head back... Let's see, is that under settings? Storyboard, that's where we want. So again, as I said, you are going to need to generate the motion for each 
of the individual shots in order to really kind of see everything that's going on and with ltx i could tell you again from experience that you're going to need to take the time to go through and make sure that everything is consistent regenerate shots where it doesn't look uh consistent or it looks distorted uh, sometimes you get extra fingers there's all sorts of stuff that might happen but um let's uh take a look at the subscription tiers here so we have our free version and we can do a certain amount every month through three uh 3600 computing seconds you are going to get through that pretty quick and then from there we have our light version our standard version and our pro version and it's important to note that the standard version vo2 is only available with the standard version so if you really want to get the highest quality of video then you are going to need to subscribe to the standard version and that's all there is to it if you found this video helpful please leave a comment and like and subscribe and don't forget to set your notifications for more helpful tips also, if you take a look in the description, you will find a link to our link tree. There you'll find our top AI tool recommendations. Click on any of those links to get started. You'd be helping us out as well, and we would greatly appreciate it.